cannot stress enough how good this is. I just love it. It's just so good. Run. Run. Don't walk. Don't skip. Run. Honestly, don't even park the car. Just tuck and roll out and grab it because it's so freaking good. You need it. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I am so excited for this video because we're doing a favorite video. And I'm so freaking excited because the holidays are coming up and the holidays always put me in a really good mood. And that's what the end of October kind of indicates. Plus Sephora sale and a bunch of sales. And who doesn't want discounts? I know I want all of them. But so I'm so excited to get in this video. I feel like I have some good stuff in here, some stuff I haven't mentioned before. So I'm really jazzed to get in this video and just let you know what I've been loving in October. I would love to know down below what did you love in October? Also, do you have any good shows for me? Any good movies I need to watch? I always kind of stick to the classics when it comes to fall, but I would love to know what you guys love so that maybe I'm maybe I'm missing out on something. Let me know down below. And yeah, let's jump into this video. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into my October clean beauty favorites. October favorites, let's jump right in. First favorite. OIS Beauty Setting Spray. I love this. It is so good. And I've used so much of it already. I'm like, so, and you really don't need that much of this. The fact that I've gotten through that much is wild. This is so good. Makeup doesn't budge. I'm obsessed with this. It is just such a good product. I highly recommend checking it out. It's And grab it during the Sephora sale if it's still going out when this video comes out, which I, which I feel like it will be, but this is so, so good. Highly recommend. Okay, next. Next, we're moving on to complexion. Now, I have been grabbing this concealer nonstop, the Iris and Romeo concealer. I wear the shade seven. This is so, so freaking good. I could have gone um, a shade lighter in this. It is just so good and it doesn't crease. She don't crease, you guys. It's so good. She doesn't crease. She's hydrating. I don't know. This is such, I've done a whole review on this. I did a whole review on all the new concealers that had come out. This was one of them. This is very, very good. And I wonder, I feel like Credo was having or is still having or most likely will have again a 20% or 25% off sale. So definitely wait until that sale happens and grab it then. Um, but this is a really, really, I mean, I've already used so much of it. If you can't tell, I don't know if you can see where it's like, kind of, yeah, you can see. I love this. It's very good. Okay, next. Now I haven't really been kind of doing no foundation on my face or any skin tint but when I have been using something I'm always going with the Westman Atelier complexion drops I wear the shade X in this so good so good and I know X is a Roman numeral for like 10 but I'm just gonna say X because that's just where my brain goes because it's an X but this is so so good I highly recommend this I mean I've talked about this a thousand times so I'm not gonna explain why I love everything in every video because then I feel like I'm going to be a broken record but this is very good super hydrating and going into fall winter this is going to be a go-to. Next I've been grabbing the Victoria Beckham Beauty Contour a ton. I love this. So this is a contour like pencil pen pencil pen. This is definitely not a pen. If I can rein it in this um crayon whatever you want to call it and this is great because i just like oh i just got it on my nose <laughs> okay well we're gonna just do a quick little blendy poo of that because <laughs> i don't know what's going on it probably looks insane now but we're just we're just gonna fly with it i really like this this is great super creamy super easy to blend very little bit of this goes a long way so you really don't need a lot and it just does what I wanted to do. I mo mainly use it on my nose. I don't really contour my face that much, but if I do contour, I do enjoy this. It does blend out nicely on my cheeks and around my face. I really enjoy this product. Um, I do wish it was cheaper if I'm going to be honest, but you know what? I bought it. So <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised, but this is really good. Okay. Next, next we're going to go powder. Same powder as always, the Amicole setting powder in translucent. This is really great. I love this component because it has like a little dish. And if I open it, which let's see, oh, it's gonna puff everywhere. Just do you see that? Everywhere. I can just pay, take some product on a brush and put it on like 
place it back here and then I don't over apply powder. Next we're moving on to blushes and I actually did not, I don't have that many blushes this month, which is wild. First one that I use a ton this month um, is the Victoria Beckham Beauty Blush in the shade Playground. This is just such a good shade. Um, I have my eye. I keep remind, trying to remind myself to go get this one shade that I really wanna try and I keep forgetting. I might just wait to see if they have a sale, um, but this is really good. I'm obsessed with this. The formula is so good, so natural on the cheeks. The shades themselves are so, although so many blushes exist in the world, their blush shades are so unique and so hard to come by shades, especially the shade um, Playground is such a hard type of shade to come by. I don't know, really good. I highly recommend these blushes and definitely, cause I do feel like Victoria Beckham Beauty always has a sale. So definitely wait for a sale cause their products are not that cheap, um, but really good. Next, love of my life right now. <laughs> love of my life, the Amicole Multi Stick in the shade Dune. <sighs> Look at her. Look how pretty, let me do a little swatch. Oh geez, that was a big swatch. Look how pretty that is. Are you gagged? Cause I am. This is like, ugh, it's so good. It's so pretty, it's so creamy. And the way it blends on the cheeks is a dream. And it sits on the cheeks really nicely. It melts into the, I don't know why I did this on the palm of my hand. Why would I do this? Only a crazy person does this, but it melts into the cheeks really nicely. It doesn't um, look textured on the face. Sometimes creams can look textured at times, especially if you, okay, I'm, this is just a me thing, but especially if I blend with my fingers, I feel like at unless I'm just blending the edges once it's already blended in with a brush, if I blend with my fingers originally, like just out, I take this, put it on my cheek and then blend with my finger. I feel like it looks so much more textured than if I put it on the back of my hand, took a brush, dipped it in, applied it. And then if I want to blend it out with my fingers a little bit more, I can, and then I end up being happy with it. But this doesn't have that textured look that sometimes creams can have. This is great. Okay, next we're going powder blush. Now the blush I've been liking as a topper this month is the same old song and dance over here. It's the Gen Nude Blushes Blush Bronzer Duo, or that's what they call it. They call it a blush plus bl bronzer. For me, it's just a blush, but um, this is from um, Bare Minerals and these are great. And this is the shade Kiss of Rose, which is, oh, look at that, look at that. She's cute, you guys. And then we have Kiss of Pink which is just such a pretty pink shade. This is just like such a good everyday. I mean, both of these are everyday, but it kind of depends on what blush I'm using. Really big fan of both these. I also have the shade Kiss of Copper, which is a beautiful shade, but that's more of a summer, like high summer shade for me, the copper, but it's beautiful. I mean, it could also be really good for a like pumpkin spicy makeup look. Next, let's go to mascaras. I've been using two mascaras a ton together this month and I've been loving. One is the Jones Road Beauty Mascara, which obviously no one talked about this because I have not stopped talking about this mascara since I have bought it, but it's really good. I'm obsessed with this mascara and I've been using it with the Ilia. These, this duo is back at it again, saving me one lash at a time. So what I like to do is I like to do the Jones Road Beauty Mascara first show you the wand. Macaroni noodle shape, if you will. And then I like to go on with the Ilia second because it has the plastic bristles. And I like to, in general, I like to do plastic bristles second. And this is that. And it has short bristles on one side here and then long bristles on the other. And just, it's just such a good duo. My lashes have been looking great, if I do say so myself. Next, brows. The same duo. <laughs> Nothing's changed, even though I am testing out some new um, stuff for the brow. So I'm testing a new brow gel and a new brow pencil, which is exciting. And I have been liking them, which is really nice. But um, the Rose Ink Clear Brow Gel, I've talked about this a thousand times, it's really good. Keeps my brows in place. 
keeps them looking really natural, but still gives me a fluffy brow look without it being too over the top. I don't know, I'm a really big fan of this. And then the Westman Atelier Brow Pencil. This is a new one. I finally got through the other one. <sighs> I just love this brow pencil so much. I Every time I use it, I'm just so happy with how my brows look. And the shade Bark is the shade I have, yeah. The shade Bark is really good. If you have my hair color um, and you struggle to find good brow products that aren't either too pigmented or too warm in tone, this is definitely worth checking out. Next, we are moving on to lips. For the, so the first lip product I wanna talk about today is this one from Afresh. This is their Sugar, what is it? Advanced Therapy Lip Smoothing Primer. I've bought hundreds of these, it feels like, and I have a backup of this because I cannot run out. This smooths my lips out. It's like an exfoliator and my lips love it. And I have really dry lips but I also have really peely lips. And so I pick at my lips. This helps me avoid any picking, any, any extra cracking. I don't know, this is really, really good. I'm a very big fan of this. I have backups of this and this is actually a new one, but I have a backup to that, to this one because I can't run out of it. And when I do, I have to face the consequences of my actions and I don't wanna. I just want my lips to look good all the time. This is the key for me. So the next, next I wanna talk about a lip balm. This is another one that I have to have lip backups of. <laughs> this is a fresh one. This is from Ola Hendrickson. This is their lip peptide, oh, peptide lip treatment. Close enough. This is so good. I love this. Super hydrating, smooths any crusty dusties on my lips, which we want. It's very, very hydrating, but it isn't oily and it's not too thick, but it's thick enough. I don't know, I love this. I highly like, like recommend you check it out. I feel like I say highly recommend a lot. And the orange scent is nice. It doesn't feel super artificial, which is nice. Sometimes super fake orange smells kind of gross me out, but this is great. Next up, the Summer Fridays, Lip balms or butter balms. These are, what is it? Lip butter balms, okay. So basically got it right. Lip butter balms, so good. I also have the brown sugar one. I also, also bought the, oh, I should have brought them over here. I don't know why I just stuttered and said also twice. I bought the minis that they had um, on the Sephora website. So cute. I needed a, a few for my smaller bags so good. I am such a big fan of these. So hydrating. I love the scents. I love the shades. You just can't go wrong. I'm probably going to buy more during the sale. Because why not? Who doesn't want hydrated lips? Okay, next, the Rowan Beauty Liquid Lip Balms. I can't quit these. These are so good. Literally live, breathe, and die by them. Um, these are two shades, but I have so many. I have, this is the shade Charlie. This is the shade Jude. I also have... I have so many shades and I love them. I did just get, and by just, I mean like maybe a month ago, I got a more, maybe it was two months ago. That timeline doesn't matter. A more berry tone, which has been life. I'm really excited to create a look with for you guys with that because I just feel like the, a berry lip is just everything in fall and winter, but these are so good, so hydrating, so smoothing. I have repurchased the shade Charlie at this point at least four times. It's just very good. I'm a big fan. Okay, next. Next I have two um, more lip products and then we're moving on to a few other categories. This lip liner from RMS is so good and I believe this is something sunset shade. What's it called? Sunset nude. Okay, crush it. This is such a good shade. I cannot, here, let me get a mirror. I cannot stress enough how good this is. I just love it, it's just so good. It's such a good shade, and these lip liners are so hydrating yet long lasting. I don't know, I'm a really big fan, and I like that they have a little brush on them. That's just so nice, because lip brushes, you don't realize how, I mean, you can always use your finger, but you don't realize how useful a lip brush is, especially when you're using lip liner until you have one. Really big fan. Next, this lipstick from Kosa. So this is the shade 100 Degrees. This is a super hydrating. I did a whole review on this, so I'm not gonna gab on too much, but this is a super hydrating. Oh, let me put some on. 
I had too much stuff on you. I don't even be able to tell the difference. It's super hydrating. And what I like about this is it is hydrating, but it's not thick. Sometimes hydrating stuff can be a little bit too thick if you're also gonna put a gloss on top or whatever. I don't know, I'm a really big fan of this. And this, oh, you can see that I it kind of changed the tone. It's very much more neutral, which I really enjoy because um, it kind of is more mauve and just tones everything down a bit. Look how pretty, oh, love that. Okay, next let's move on to tools. So this eyelash curler, I talk about this every month, but I feel like people really struggle with eyelash curlers, so I'm gonna keep mentioning it. This is the Shiseido eyelash curler. I love this. This is definitely on the pricier side when it comes to eyelash curlers. Ugh. Even though, maybe maybe mid price, but this is $23 and you get an additional little patty thing that's inside, which is nice. It's really good, doesn't pinch my lid. So if you struggle with eyelash curlers pinching your lid, this is one that I know a lot of people outside of me also enjoy for not having their lids pinched. Um, it's just so good. It's just so good. There's not much more I can say, but she is great. Okay, next. I love this powder brush. <laughs> Hourglass powder brush. I, I can't, oh, just, it's so good, it's so good. I love this. So I like to use this side specifically for bronzer just because I don't like bronzer to be too big on my face. And sometimes I feel like I can overdo it. This is so good. And then this side I have been loving just for regular powder, but also powder blush. The way it applies powder blush is something that weirdly is like one of the better powder bl blush brushes I've ever used. And even though the brush is big, it's it doesn't spread it too far down my face. I mean, I used it today and it's, it, exactly where I want it to be without it being too far down. Sometimes, you know how sometimes you can apply blush and it'll be too far down and, and it just completely messes the, the dimensions of your face up. This doesn't do that when I apply it, at least with this. I just dip and then just go like this real quick and then I move on. It's so good. Next. I'm gonna beat a dead horse with this one. I'm gonna beat a dead horse. I'm beating a dead horse. Girl, if I don't. This is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe number seven. I love this brush for foundation, for blush, for bronzer, for blending, for just going around the edge of my blush and bronzer, for blending out concealer. This is such a good versatile brush. And I feel like if I, I did a brush video um, with my top five brushes. And if I had to pick only one brush, it would be this one because it's so versatile. Get it. She's so good. All right, we're moving on to skincare. I just have two skincare products and then we have a few hair care products and then we're done. First, Carly Detox Oil. I mean, I've talked about this a thousand times. This is so good, especially when I come back from a trip or something, this just is the best. And if I'm on the trip and I'm like, oh, I feel like I really wanna avoid the post-vacation or post-trip like skin purge, I apply this with my face cream. So I do a little bit of my face cream, a few drops of this, mix it together and apply it. And it really, really helps me not have that purge afterwards. And if I do have maybe a little bit of a purge or a little bit of something, if I apply this on my face, usually by the next day, it's so significant of a difference. This is so good, I'm obsessed with this. But I've also repurchased this for the past, like what honestly feels like 13 years. It is so good. And next, truly feel like this is single-handedly one of the best discoveries I have come across for acne. If you get those really deep pimples that just last for days and they get become painful and red and angry, but at first they seem like they won't be that bad, but you know it's coming and it's gonna be the worst thing ever. I have a product for you that truly is so good. It's so good. These pimple patches, these are from the brand Peach Slices and it's their deep blemish micro dot. It's so freaking good. I have already, I have backups because I'm refusing to run out. I only have two left in here. They are so good. So I apply it to a zit, press down 15 seconds, let it go. And by the time the morning comes, it either has reduced the inflammation or pulled the stuff out and created the head that then I can just put a regular 
thing on and it'll be gone right away. And then I don't have to worry about the redness that gives me immediate. I don't even have to breathe for 14 seconds before I have hyperpigmentation on my face, which is just so rude. It is so good. It truly is one of the best things. I've already recommended it to like so many of my friends that I know have acne and have those types of pimples because it truly is the most frustrating thing ever. These are so good. Do you get like eight or nine in a pack? Um, and honestly, backups on backups of this, like I cannot run out because when I run out, I know it's gonna be when I have a breakout or like maybe my husband wants to use one or someone wants to use one and I won't have any. These are so good, truly, truly amazing and I actually can't believe it, how long it took me to discover these and I'm so happy. Run, run, don't walk, don't skip, run. Honestly, don't even park the car, just tuck and roll out and grab it because it's so freaking good you need it. Okay, next we're moving on to hair and then we're done. So one is something I've been loving and testing out and it's just so good. The um, Amica, the Cure, I feel like I've mentioned this before, the Intense Bond Repair Mask. I have the full size, but it's in my shower and it's like wet. So I just got, this is my travel size one that I have. This is so good. This is so good. My hair, because I didn't take care of it in summer, and if I didn't take care of it, I mean mainly just put it up in a bun and just let go and let the universe do its thing. Like I just was not vibing with my hair this summer because it was so humid and it just wasn't, it, it was never gonna be cute. But this, because I didn't take care of my hair, my hair is not that happy with me, but this has been so freaking good. I love this, this is really, really good. I have other, um, Amica hair products that I use and actually just other products in general that I use for my hair right now But this has been just so good. I put it in my hair Let it sit for 10 minutes then I rinse it out and my hair just is so much happier and um, I've just been loving this and loving how it makes my hair feel and then lastly this is something I have been loving too. This is from the Crown Affair and this is so good. So this is their leave-in conditioner cream. And what I do is I do two pumps per side. And for my hair that works, it might not work for everyone's hair. It depends on how porous your hair is and how much your hair really needs this product. Do pumps on each side. First of all, smells divine the nicest smell but um i just put it in my hair let it soak in and my hair is just so much happier when i use it it is so freaking good this is one that i'm definitely repurchasing during this for sale because i use this every single day and my hair drinks it up and i don't want to run out of it because my hair is all in a better place than it was even a month ago because i've been actually taking care of it whereas before i was not and yeah that's it for this video that is it for my October clean beauty favorites. I would love to know what were you loving this month? Food, show, movie, book. Ooh, recommend some books for me down below because I need some new books to read. Yeah, that's it for this video. That's it for my October clean beauty favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.